Hi, good afternoon. Uh, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. My channel is Jamaican African Travels. The reason why I give it this name is because soon I'm going to visit the continent. And I just want you guys to just journey with me that I can show you what the continent is look like, its culture, and the beauty of the continent. So just journey with me and follow me. Then we can explore the African continent. So my topic today is why foreigners taking over Jamaica, especially the Chinese. The Chinese is taking over every corner of Jamaica, east, west, north and south. And I'm saying to the power that be, why we allow these people to take in over our beautiful island? And it's not benefiting the ordinary citizen. No way. And I'm going to show you. When you have foreigners came to your country to doing business and doing business in corner shop, supermarket, abadashi, even in some local area that I would never think that Chinese would, Chinese would go there doing business. They are there. And I know that move is not the interest of Jamaican people. It's only to bring down more poverty to the people of Jamaica. All right, I'm going to touch on liquor politics. If you look in 2001, when the then Philip Paulwell gave away our JPS, I want to call that soul. He gave away JPS for 201 million United States dollars. And then in 2007, six years later, that same company, Moran Corporation, sold the same company for 1.1 1 billion United States dollar and another 353 million in debt. And even within those six years, he operating JPS. He, do, he didn't do any upgrade like Billy put in any new generator. It's the same old generator that JPS running off of. So he made so many profit plus the profit he making during that six years. And I think they have a clause in that contract that they have certain amount of profit they had to make each year and if they don't make that amount Jamaican people have to make it up. So that's why your light bill is so much so much. So that was not a good move because there is no way in hell you should be selling out your your services to a foreigner. That should be owned by the government or, or a citizen of Jamaica. So by JPS buying up, they're collecting their fees, their service. When you burn up your electricity, you pay in Jamaican dollars. So the ordinary people in Jamaica are not earning US dollars, so they cannot pay their bill in US dollars. You have to pay it in Jamaica. And in order for them to send away their profit, they have to be buying up US dollars. And that is one of the things that's causing the run on the, the Jamaican dollar just because these people sell out our country, sell out our resources to foreigners. That is a low hanging fruit. We are, we are, there is no fear in hell that the Jamaican government should really sell out JPS. It was the only 
profit making company we did have your Jamaica that losing how much millions per month we have the sugar factory at the same time was losing how much money each year and it was the poor citizen have to be footing all those to keep it running so why they didn't sell those it took Bruce Golden to come and sold out those factory that wasn't doing no good to Jamaica and that's why Jamaica was on the rebound not no Peter Phillips it was Alisha and Bruce Golden who to this day helped Jamaica to recover start to recover from the slum that he was in so I'm telling you as long as you have these Chinese or these foreigners coming to our country to do locally business that should be do, taken up by the citizens of Jamaica. That, that to me like is a no-brainer move. So I would like to know how many milli, billions per year the Chinese people ship out or the foreigners ship out of Jamaica buying up these US dollars and causing the country to in poverty like bill raising food price raising because each time the dollar rises the people get in poorer and poorer so we need to get rid of these people out of our country i see you the fdi fid which is the financial investigation division busy locking up these guys that doing their dialing uh, they call them scammer scammer you need to leave those guys on the loan and go and lock up the chinese from sending out the u.s dollar that we don't not producing down there the scammer is the one that bringing in u.s dollar the evil a year and a half ago no locked down the country and it was the scammer that running the country with the u.s dollar to leave the guy them alone no stop it man because right you know no one back backyard not you know one backyard you have people because the tax office and the motor vehicle the vm dmv department of motor vehicle is think it run under the minister of finance and look upon the amount of corruption and scamming going on there and you know give it a blind eye go down there and and, and and find the people them that collecting money from ordinary taxpayer to pay extra to provide service. You go to the DVM, DMV. If you don't pay to get a license, you cannot get a license in Jamaica. You go out there and lock up those people for scamming and leave the ordinary people just because they don't go to university. Because as to me, People who graduate from university have the authority to thief, but the ordinary people are not supposed to do it. So that's where you're supposed to look and leave the scammer alone. Scammer here with me, I said to you, you know. You know, stop on the fullness. Tap you on know, the money buying gun and killing half of each other. Go bury the gun, brethren. All you need to do is live happy. And no one of you have more money than these Chinese people. So what you guys should do, use your money and open up business, open up supermarket and let these Chinese go back to their country. So what you should do, bear no gun to defend yourself when these Chinese people take over the country and start to turn it in communities. That's where you don't need to raise them. But for right now, when a friend kill a brethren, put down no gun and stop kill off no one either down there. Enjoy no money and live good. Them busy locking up, why they not go lock up a little fool them where they send the money come go now? Me know 98% of them don't have no visa. 
town and then come up here come rob anybody. You now them send money come go no. So live happy my youth, my heart off too no. Because I know some heart more and them when I collect back with before parent or our ancestor that they did have been slave. So you guys smart is enough. You know you them no more than they collect back on the money. Salute to no you. Salute to no. So leave this camera them alone. See there? If you don't have a road or bridges building, it have to be a Chinese. What happened to our institution down there? Tell me, you know, close down all the engineering department that we can train anyone, any locally educated people to build bridges and roads. Road. And if you know, close it down, why you know, do that? That is not a smart move. Right? If, you, if you know, close it down, reopen it, black people smart and capable enough to build their own bridges. We don't need foreigners. Each time a foreigner come down here to do local service or doing selling local goods to the ordinary people, he put in more pressure on the people because they have to be buying up US dollars. I don't say you guys should not have foreigner come do business, but the business that they are doing must generate in US dollar not Jamaican dollar. Once it US dollar, it's going to cause pressure on the people. It's going to cause pressure on the Jamaican dollar because they have to buy US dollar because we're not producing enough to generate US dollar to can supply the demand that these people need to ship out the US dollar. So we need to get a hold on yourself, brethren, and, and and do what is right. And for all you know, people down there who they support the Chinese. In order to get them out, you know, have to stop support them. Stop, stop support them and support the local. You know, need to stop play crab in a barrel mentality. That not gonna help us. That not gonna take us out, out of poverty. While you people down there fighting and bad mind each other. The Chinese, them coming in more and more. That's what you should pay attention to. See there? You look all the, these Dominican taking up all the labors in Jamaica and while people down there cannot get work. I wonder who, which power to be giving these people permit to come down there to do ordinary work. Not simple Jamaican can do. Brethren, we don't need to get back to the giant boat. In order for Jamaican people to earn more money, we don't have to do like what Lee Kuan Yew do. Lee Kuan Yew came to Jamaica in the 60s to copy what Jamaica was doing. Because Jamaica was doing I think Jamaica was growing up to 6-7% per annum. So Lee Kuan Yew, which was in Civil War in the 1950s leading up to 60, came to Jamaica, copy the policy that we was doing. Now you see now, Singapore is a first world country. Singapore is the size of St. James. They don't have the resources like what Jamaica do, but what they do, they do, they bring in sound policy. There is about their citizen, not about foreigners. And in order for we to come out of the slum that we are, we need to get these foreigners out of the country who is doing local service. I don't know, know. some don't know why I'm not encouraging this. So in order for people to get more pay, you had to stop import labor in the country, make the labor in short supply, and then who need the labor have to start put out more money because labor in short supply. Just as the US dollar in short supply is rising, 
because you cannot raise minimum wages because these big companies going to, going to say yes you raise minimum wages so I had to raise the goods that I'm providing so you don't raise minimum wages you stop import labor and that's how the ordinary people will earn more money so this is what I have to say until next time so like, share and subscribe. Bye.